Hey, how's it going? Today I found one of the cringiest artists on DeviantArt and it's a lot. Also, just ignore the slight change in the environment. It's really not as important as you watching this video right now. Anyway, today we have the cringiest artist on DeviantArt and we're just going to take a look at his profile. Right now, I'm already on the page and as you can see, it says favorite visual artist and he says it's Patrick Brown. Favorite movies, Priest. Priest? Was that a really good movie? Favorite bands or musical artists? Lil Wayne, Twister, Game, and Eminem. Well, that's a really interesting combination of rappers. Favorite books? <laughs> so you're probably wondering, who? Oh, this profile what kind of art does he even make so let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the images from this artist okay we have the first one here and apparently this is it's supposed to be I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I'm guessing it's supposed to be art for like an album cover or something. This guy will probably be the main recording artist and then he's featuring these two guys. And look at all the bling on his ears and on his hands, his wrists, everything is just shiny. And the background appears to be just a raw photo that was pasted right behind. And what, what font is this even? I don't even understand the font. Also, I don't understand the way this first guy is wearing his hat. It looks like the hat is just sitting sideways on his head. All the characters don't even have the same direction of light hitting them as with the background. It just looks like the characters are existing in their own different world and the background is just something else. Oof. And then we have this one. Maya, would you look at that smile? I don't know what to say. Just look at the eyes. What's going on with the nostrils? And why does the bridge of the nose look like clay? It looks like clay that was stuck on a model but wasn't sculpted properly. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just rewind this. I'm sure you're probably wondering who this artist is and if you haven't guessed by now or you haven't come to this deviant art page before it's actually my deviant art page wow so those are some of my old cringy images and i just decided to go back so i can see the kind of art i was creating when i first decided to start chasing art because i know a lot of you see these pros and think they were not bad at all you have to understand that everyone was really terrible before they decided to improve and become good and become better at whatever they were doing all right so this was probably the first time i had any experience with photoshop i didn't even know what i was doing <laughs> just look at the background what is going on in that background it looks like the mosaic filter and i just applied it on the entire layer and then just like how when everyone first starts using photoshop the first thing you're always asking about is brushes you're always looking for more brushes i found these nice smoke brushes so i just started applying them onto everything why is the smoke even coming out of my hand just like that <laughs> Over 10, I think I'm going to give this, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm th I'm giving this one, one for effort. All right. <laughs> and then we have this with the little fancy little eyes. What is this? Everything does look so horrible. What's going on with the eyes? Just take a look at the nose. The nose is the most annoying part of the image. <laughs> what do you think I should give this over 10? This is your chance. Go ahead and grade this. Over 10, what would you give this image? Our friends here with the bling and the purple clouds behind them. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to give this image. Mm. Mm. Nah, I'll give this a four. And then we have this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? Then I put dollar bills in the background. This is so bad. It's good. 
I think I'll leave the judging of this one for you guys. What do you guys think this should go for? Over 10, over 10, what will you give this? <laughs> it's just bad all right so those first images were from facebook so now we'll just go right to the bottom of my portfolio and then we'll start from there i think this was when i had started being influenced by patrick brown just look at those white set of teeth and the white eyes and then the shoes are just what's going on there over 10 i'll give this a uh... I'll give this uh, a five. I'll give this a five for character design. It isn't 100% poor like all the other images we just looked at, but this isn't that good neither. So it's just somewhere in the middle. It's between super bad and bad enough that it's becoming good. And then this, these were the inks I did. I remember doing this on paper and then i scanned it into the computer and then i used a mouse to trace over the entire pencils using the pen tool i was using a mouse to trace this to trace everything hitman absolution i'm guessing this was when the hitman absolution game came out so i was super hyped the light source is always just coming from the top and then you use just some shadows to show where the folds of the clothing is going but why is the entire image so dark it's very dark i can't even tell what's going on in the background his other arm is moving there's the motion blur i use the motion blur effect to make it look like his hand is moving so he's trying to reload the gun i think i'm just going to give this a hmm i'll give this a four as well I don't like the composition and the values are way off. It's just too dark. Why are all the images dark? What is going on with this prototype image? Why is it so dark? What even is this? <laughs> when you take a look at that cheeky little rim light there, just hitting, hitting the solid shoes. And then I put some ambers in. Where, there's no fire. There's no fire burning anywhere. Where are the ambers coming from? What's going on? Okay, now we're getting into the good stuff. This is where I started understanding a little bit more on using harder shadows and cuts. I even started using some textures. As you can see, there's some blood splatter all over his clothing and his axe and this is the second iteration with some fire and then i added some reflection of the fire on his clothing and some cheap effects i'll say a six a six over ten for these these aren't these aren't that bad but this is this isn't that bad there was some improvement here and this as well wow i was beginning to understand what i was doing uh seven over ten take a look at that texture on the wall it's just a raw photo of a wall and then i just placed that behind him and then there's some dirt on his pants and some blood splatter all on the wall it's not that bad i know you probably be wondering how i was able to start making better images and just improve within a short period of time it's all thanks to Skillshare. I know I've mentioned Skillshare a lot on this channel and I've told a lot of people to go check out the Patrick Brown tutorial, but that was basically what I used to understand how to render characters and render some background. So if you are trying to get into doing characters and colors like this, you can go check out Patrick Brown's class on Skillshare. A regular subscription will cost you $10 a month, but if you use the link in the description, you'll be able to get one free month of premium membership and you can access all the classes. So make sure you go check out the classes for yourself and i'm sure there's something you're going to learn from there that you might have not learned before this is fan art from the mortal kombat shaolin monks game <laughs> and i just like how how cheesy it looks and why was i always using embers in all my images and there's clearly no fire there's no fire burning in the image but there's embers coming in and you can see the face of the skeleton in the background he clearly isn't happy with what's going on he just doesn't want to be in this image and what's with the anatomy of his arm Do we, what and then the orcs the orcs are the best part of the image <laughs> i think i'll give this image a five this one was when i had started playing max Payne 3 everyone who played that game was just hyped for no reason anytime you just play a max Payne game you feel like you can actually wield a gun in real life and just do damage 
so i just took that excitement i got from playing the game then i poured it into this image and what's this barrel doing here he has so much detail on him and the barrel is just here man i like how this guy is just shooting this way while max Payne is literally in front of him he's just shooting away from max Payne. so if kratos didn't become the ghost of sparta and then he just entered the realm and came to the mortal combat universe and joined reptiles clan this is probably what he'll look like look at all the scales right here that must have taken a while to paint all those scales okay i think i'll give this image a i mean it feels wholesome it's not it's not out of place with the background so i'll give this image seven now we're talking at least in this one i I think I was beginning to understand the difference between uh, using hard shadows and soft shadows. As you can see, there's all hard shadows on my clothing and then on my face where the form of my forehead is turning and on my cheek, the shadows are a little bit softer. This isn't that bad actually. But what's draw for food? Why am I drawing for food? what was going on in my head was i starving i think i was i think i was super hungry i was willing to trade my ass for food i should have just opened an only fans i still have a lot of more old work that i could go back and look at but let's rather not do that anyway what do you guys think of all the rating i give some of these old images they're really old and they're not my proudest works but everyone really does have to start from somewhere so if you're feeling stuck in your work or if you're not seeing any improvement in your work just remember everyone started from somewhere and with time and with proper practice you are going to see improvement in your work anyway that's all i have for you guys today this was a really fun video i enjoyed making this video and just looking back at some of my works be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it uh, subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and yeah i'll see you in the next video peace